All right, now let's talk about doing conversion problems. And here I have a worksheet of mole conversions. And um, there's a series of either one-step or two-step conversion problems. So let's start with this one. This one says, I am starting out with 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium, and they're asking me to convert it to moles. To do that, I have to use uh, this mole map. This mole map is describing to me the process, and I'm starting with atoms, so that means particles. And if I'm starting with particles, I am going to be going to moles, so I've got to follow the arrow that starts with particles and goes to moles. To go from particles to moles, I divide by 6.02 to the 23rd. To better understand this, I've got kind of a few tricks so that during the test, um, I have to use a mole map that I've simplified here. If you have moles, then you multiply. If you have moles when you start out, you multiply. I didn't have moles when I started out this problem. I had atoms. So if you don't have atoms, you do the opposite, which of course is divide. So this is the mole map with all of the pieces simplified there to where if I have moles, I multiply. If you have particles, you're going to divide. Now what you're going to divide by for particles is Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's, mole, that's atoms per mole. Um, if I had grams, it would be dividing by the molar mass. And if I was starting with liters, I would be... Uh, dividing by the constant of 22.4. So let's take the first problem that I talked to you about. And it was you had in your possession 22, I'm sorry, I lied, 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And they asked me to convert it to moles. So once again, since I am converting to moles, I'm going to divide. I set my problem up to look like this. This is the number that I was given, and the function that it told me to do on my mole map was divide. So I set it up divided by, and this is the number off your mole map. It's Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now you'll notice that I put parentheses around these functions because I want my calculator to do this process before dividing those two numbers. So in order for you to get the correct number, you can do it one of two ways, but whenever I have a number that has a scientific notation in it, which is times 10 to the 23rd, putting it in parentheses is the easiest way to not make a mistake. Now you can put the first number in and hit equals divided by, but the second number always has to be in parentheses. So just to be certain, we're going to use the parentheses and we're going to put this equation into our parentheses, uh, into our calculator. So I've got parentheses and I hit 12.04 times 10 and I'm going to show you, I, I just did, uh, I'm going to start again so you could see the numbers that I'm putting in. 12.04 times 10. This button right here is the to the button to the 23rd. Now if I was to put equals right now, you'll see it put that number in scientific notation for me. Now I can hit the divided by, remember those parentheses, parentheses 6.02 times 10, the little to the button, that's this little caret right here, to the uh, 23rd, and then I hit end parentheses and equal sign. And you can see that that is the number two. So the answer to this problem is going to be when I'm converting atoms, how many atoms to moles, it's going to be the answer will be two, and the unit will be moles, because that's what they asked me to convert it to said convert it to moles. However, that also is what happens when the atoms unit portion crosses out. Then I'm only left 
with my moles. So this is how to solve a one-step conversion problem.